Hello! About time we had Easter, isn't it? Oh wait, here it is. And look, there are three eggs on sticks waiting for us already. It must be Easter. Yes, in fact, to be honest with you, there nearly wasn't an Easter special this year, like there wasn't a Valentine's Day special, because there was just no new interesting tat around for it. It was all the old stuff. But fortunately, Poundland pulled out the big guns just before the big day, and we have ourselves, I mean, amongst other things, polystyrene eggs on sticks. It's good, isn't it? I mean, nothing screams Easter to me like that. I've put some in the back of the sofa, as you probably noticed. They will be our sofa adornments for this year. These are egg steaks. Tragically not edible ones. Six pack. Yes! We got three more of them. It's good, isn't it? <clears throat> I don't really know what you're supposed to do with these. I mean, you could push it in your grass, so they're just sort of sitting like that. And then people will say, oh, there's a dirty polystyrene egg in your grass. And you'll say, ha ha, that's what you think. It's actually on a stick stuck in the grass. And think of all the new friends you'll make. I may not have thought that one through correctly. Yes, let's put these here. And that will be, uh, looks more like the background from like a 1970s French sci-fi cartoon or something. Um, there we are. My God. It <laughs> <laughs> it's like, like a criminal lineup for Humpty Dumpty or something, dearie me. Well, there we are. You can get six of those for a pound if you particularly want to, and who wouldn't? But the question is, of course, every Easter you think to yourself, God, where am I going to put my cutlery? The answer, of course, is in these bunny cutlery holders. Yeah, I don't know. This feels a bit like a solution looking for a problem, but um, let's see what we've got. There's six of them either way. Six pink, six white. Lots of fluff. Mmm, beautiful. Um, so you've got your cotton tail, you've got your very thin felt, um, and you can apparently put a spoon in that. That's good, isn't it? Foolishly, I didn't bring any cutlery up. We're going to have to put pens in it instead. Hang on. This beautiful Poundland pencil, in fact. Amazing value every day. There we are. Great. I mean, you could eat your dinner with a pencil and pen, possibly. <laughs> I'm not sure I'd recommend it. Oh, well, there we are. You've got your own bunny sack for keeping uh, uh, stuff in. What am I going to keep in it? Um, what have I got here? I'm going to keep in it a copy of this uh, Japanese Neo Geo Pocket game. There we are. Oh, man, if it fits in like this. Oh, look at that. That's kind of weird. Not going to lie to you. There we are. Let's put something normal in. Um, how about a fake Lego Robocop? That makes far more sense. There we are. Now it's Easter, everybody. Hmm. Yeah. I'm... Mm. The other thing is, um, if this kind of feels like something you'd rest, I don't know, a spoon on, so it doesn't... But you're never going to wash it, are you? No, that's a terrible idea. Yeah, I'm going to be honest, I'm not quite understanding these ones, but there we are. If you're having a particularly Easter-themed dinner party or something, um, there we are. I'll keep the kids entertained for 0.4 of a femtosecond. Right, you get over there, because we have the far more Easter-y things coming. I mean... Eggs, quite Eastery. Rabbits, keep your cutlery in. Uh, yeah, it's fairly Eastery. But it isn't properly Easter until you've got your bouncy ball that lights up. Quite why this was in the Easter section, I don't know. Oh, wait, there is printing on it. Ah, I thought it was clear. Hang on. The truth will come out. It's sort of in a cloud, or is it a sheep? It's a sheep. The classic Easter animal of the, the sheep. Um, is this one of those ones where you smack and then it goes crazy with the lights? I'm going to say yes, because that's exactly what happened. Yeah, again, not feeling quite so traditional Easter, this one, but um, if, if it's Easter and you want a bouncy ball that lights up and you want it to have a burnt sheep's face on it, um, this exists. I mean, that's all I can say, really. This exists. And now we all have to live with that. It's always the same sort of pulsing pan, isn't it? They must have been using that same uh, sort of LED set for these things for at least 912 years. I may be exaggerating very slightly. Ah, oh, well. Now that the stakes have been raised, we can continue with a bonnet. Look at that. An Easter bonnet for the fair. Look, it even says bonnet on it, just in case you didn't know what a bonnet was. I thought it was just a normal hat. No, you fools! This is not merely a hat. This is a bonnet. And it was like a quid. So it's not made of the most amazing material, but, but if you want a, just a cat hat for the kids to mess around with Easter, 
can't complain for a pound, can you? Now, the question is, what does it look like when being worn? And the answer, tragically, is... Well, I didn't need to sleep for the next 300 years anyway. Right, enough bonnetry. We've got far better things to be wearing. This thing that I've already opened, because frankly I couldn't believe it existed. Bunny cape! Look at this person wearing their bunny cape amongst the carrots and bees. I, I've just realised carrots and bees, again. Sort of more of a summer image than a specific Easter image, I would have said, but there we are. Uh, yeah, there she is, and a child looking like some sort of evil nun. Not really understanding that. Um, there was a nun exploitation genre, um, which uh, was a thing in sort of uh, the 1970s. Um, maybe it's an image from that? The Killer Bunny Nun. Killer Bunny Nun. That sounds like a place name from an old fantasy novel or something, doesn't it? Ah, here he is, the king of Killer Bunny Nun. Right. That was a thing. Um, so it's, yeah, it's, it's a little cape. You can put it on, see it goes over your head and looks like a skinned rabbit, so that's always jolly. Um, here's a cape that you can go around. It's for a very small person, a tiny wee elf, or possibly a child. Um, I mean, I tried to wear it and ended up looking like this. I mean, it's a strong look, but I'm not sure it's one I was really pulling off, to be honest. Right, <clears throat> we've had all these things that are sort of only tangentially related to Easter, or not really related to Easter at all, when we look at that bouncy ball. But I think we can all agree that nothing says Easter like a, a skipping rope. I don't understand. It doesn't even have, like, a, any particular um, branding on it. It's just this weird thing that... Is it supposed to be a rabbit? It looks more like a cat. Hang, right, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's get to the... Oh, my God, these are... Ooh, oh, dear. They're, yeah, hmm. Very cheap plastic there, but there we are. It's, it's, it's an entry-level skipping rope. You wouldn't be using this in the Olympic um, skipping championship. Um, right. I think this is being sold as some sort of rabbit thing, but the ears... It's just like a cat with elongated ears? Is that just me being paranoid? Am, am I just not seeing the rabbit in this? It's a half cat, half rabbit. A cabbit! There we are, we've got the answer. That famous skipping animal, the cabbit. Maybe it's a kangaroo, I don't know. Uh, the actual yarn bit feels all right. Um, yeah, it's quite a strong bit of rope. That'll do the job. I, I do suspect that perhaps, um, yeah, these will hold, I think, for a kid to mess around with a bit. But they'll need to graduate onto the more powerful wooden handles in order to compete in the World Skipping Championships at the top of Mount Etna, or wherever it happens. That's a safe place for a skipping championship. I'm sure that's where they hold it. Hey, look, everyone, it's one of them. <sighs> so this wasn't actually directly with the Easter stuff, uh, but I loved it so much I had to get it. I believe it is a royal flamingo with a migraine. Really solid bit of plaster as well. Um, it took me a while to work out what it was. The answer came when I looked at the shelves near it. It turns out it's part of a range of sets of three animals. I think you have to buy them all separately. And they're the classic hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil. And this, I think, is this hear no evil flamingo. But I didn't know that because it was the only flamingo on the shelf. So uh, it confused me mightily. It does just look like a flamingo that is in desperate need of some painkillers for its bonds, bless it. But yeah, it's it's an odd design. And what, what I can't understand is, why does the flamingo have a crown? The, the, the royal flamingo found Prince of the Flamingos? Queen Flamingo the 14th? I don't know. But the most important thing is, I don't want to know, because I feel that knowledge would damage me in some way. Right, you go there, and we shall look at our last beautiful Easter item. The most important one of all, which has fallen across the bloody floor, and I can't get it, hang on. Ah, there we are. Dislocated my shoulder, but it was worth it for. Easter Tangle Party Game. Twist the spinner and get yourself into a tangle. Right foot sheep. Those are three words. Left hand bunny rabbit. Ah, it's Twister. Contains one spinner and one playmat. Ah, Twister, the classic game of kids clamouring over each other and then teenagers doing it drunkenly and uh, thinking it'll be some sort of sexy fun times, but in just 
you end up with somebody's toe stuck up your nose and you get injured. Uh, twist the spinner and get yourself into a tangle. That's the same on the front and back. How could you? Deary me. Right, I think this is going to be uh, somewhat underwhelming, but you never know. Oh, no, no, this is fairly... Oh, the yeah, spinner's not great. Well, look, at least it's a pre-made spinner made of very thick cardboard, so it will actually work. So, whoop, there we are. That is left foot B. <laughs> <laughs> so there's the picture of the bee, although it does look more like some sort of flying bruise, but let's not worry about that. Uh, that bit's left foot, right foot, right hand, left hand, right, okay. Uh, and this is, oh, I was hoping this would be plastic, but this is just um, heavily laminated paper, I think is a polite way to put it. It'll do the job, though. So you put this on the floor, and if you don't know how to play twist, well, actually, there's instructions uh, in several useful languages. We'll go with the English at the top. Spin the wheel and take the position on whichever instruction it lands on. The last player to fall is the winner. That's not the greatest instructions for Twister I've ever heard. But the idea is you, uh, well this isn't going to show up on camera actually because it's far too big. There's a big old mat, well paper mat, that you put on the floor and it has a picture of all these animals on, you see. Hang on, I should have kept the um, box for that. There it is. You'll get a better idea from that. And then you spin this, and every, I think, I don't know how you start off with this. I think you just sort of stand near it, and it's like, spin, spin, there we are. Left foot, rabbit. And you have to put your left foot on one of the rabbits, and then you spin it, and then everybody has to put their left hand on one of the um, sheep, and on it goes, until you get horribly twisted up, you dislocate your shoulder, and then you fall over. And the last person to fall wins the game. And I believe uh, the way Twister works is, if you have more than two people, the winner can then be challenged to a fight to the death by the person who came last. And the winner of that gets to live, and the loser dies. Twister is a dark game. But at Easter, they tend to play it without the death rules, because, you know, it's Easter, isn't it? You're not going to be able to eat your chocolate eggs if you've just been beaten to death by somebody who slipped on a mat and knocked one of their teeth out. Gonk! There we are. I think that may be YouTube's first ever gonk jump scare. And <laughs> they said it couldn't be done. No, they said it shouldn't be done. With hindsight, they were probably right. But yes, needless to say, the bloody gonk plague continues. Uh, with specific Easter ones, none of which were very exciting until I saw this. Because, indeed, what did the gonk world need other than an Easter gonk, which is effectively one of their normal gnomey gonks, but with no limbs, a little cotton tail, a furry hat with a pom-pom on, bunny ears, and this is the bit I can't quite understand, a really yellowed moustache? I don't know if that's coming across there. Um, yeah, I think, I think the camera's picking it up. It kind of looks like it's really nicotine-stained. I think they may have actually designed a chain-smoking Easter gonk. That's not something I ever thought I would say. But there we are. That is what has happened, and that is what we're stuck with. <laughs> Why is the gonk thing still going on? I don't know. Oh dear, it's been drooling as well. Um, I don't, I, I've not understood. I, yeah, I don't know. There is something I can tell you, though, which I hope I haven't mentioned before, but if I have, pretend I haven't. Uh, a while ago, I took one of the first gonks, I think it was a Christmas gonk, to a charity shop, and the person in the shop said, Ooh, these things always sell immediately. So there we are. Gonks are popular in charity shops at the very least, and I imagine they're popular in Poundland and that, because, my God, they make a lot of them. But there we are. What we were missing was a sort of mutant half gonk that's covered in nicotine stains because that to me says easter more than anything well we laugh it says easter to me more than a bloody skipping rope anyway that's enough for easter this year but before we go back by popular demand it's the decorative mushroom that looks a bit rude yay woo it still exists and in fact is going on tour and all of next month it can be seen in the National Museum of Art in Buenos Aires Ooh, I am the ghost of Easter present Ooh, and I am the ghost of Easter past you see because that was in this year's and that was in last year's so like present and past and, and they look a bit like ghosts look Blumhouse call me seriously we can get at least five films out of this
Wake up, light boy, boy. 